I think that one of the hardest things to do is to calculate a rate, an interest rate based on some numbers. So let's take a look at the first example. What is the interest rate if I pay $150 monthly for five years for a $5,000 loan? And this is all the information we're gonna get and now we need to calculate the interest rate. Well, Excel has a nice function for that. The function works by iterating and it does 20 iterations at max. And if it can not find an answer then, then you get a num error. But you can forget about that information and just take a look at the function because I think it's still a really cool function to calculate interest rates. So the function is called rate. That's pretty easy. And the first thing we need to enter is the number of periods. And here we need to do the periods right because we have five years, but we're paying per month. So it's five times 12. And then the next one that we need to do is the payment itself. And we are going to enter this one as a negative value because then we get a positive value when we execute the function. And the last thing Excel wants to know, if we press the comma, is the present value. Well, that's the $5,000 loan, 5,000. And we press enter. And now we can see that the interest rate, the annual interest rate is 2.18%, right? Let's do one more example. So what is the interest rate if I pay $50 weekly for five years for a $2,500 loan? Right, you want to know that? Well equals rate and then this is the most important part because this is the number of periods and the number of periods is five years but we are doing weekly payments so it's 52 weeks then we need to enter the payment again as a negative value so minus 50 and the present value is 2500 dollars and then we close the function press enter and we get an interest rate of 1.99%. And this is how Excel can help you calculate interest rates if you have a payment that is the same for every period.